I told them a goat cannot read. A goat cannot write his name. They must study hard or they'll be like me, an old man, no better than a goat. We're not halfway through 2011 yet, but I already have a frontrunner for best actor and maybe best picture. No, I don't mean the beaver and anti-Semitic racist woman hitter Mel Gibson. I'm talking about Oliver Latondo, a Kenyan former news anchorman who'd only played minor roles before being cast in The First Grader, a film based on the true story of Kamani Naganga Maruge, an 84-year-old villager and veteran of the Mau Mau uprising who, in 2003, enrolled as a first grader after the Kenyan government announced that they were making an elementary school education free to all. Filmed on location in a rural Kenyan school full of non-actor students, the first grader follows Maruge as he attempts to enroll in school so he can learn to read. Maruge faces ridicule for his age, accusations of taking a spot from deserving children, and stern refusals from school administrators. But Maruge won't give up, even fashioning an adult version of the school uniform, and finds an ally in the school's principal, Jane Obinchu, played by British actress Naomi Harris, who's impressed by Maruge's persistence and is able to bend some rules to get him into the classroom. As word gets out about Maruge, opposition to his presence grows, with agitators coming to the school and Jane becoming the target of threats and nasty rumors. At the same time, journalists from around the world descend on the school to learn more about the world's oldest first grader, making Maruge a national celebrity and a spokesman for the importance of education. School and government officials are happy for the publicity, but they continue trying to kick Maruge out, even going so far as having Jane transferred, causing Maruge to travel to Nairobi to get her back. Throughout the first grader, we learn more about Maruge's involvement in the Mau Mau Rebellion of the 1950s, when members of the Kukuyu tribe began a violent uprising against the British colonizers who had stolen their land and denied them their rights. Maruge teaches his fellow students about the importance of the rebellion and the struggle for land and freedom. The British stole our land, so we said they must give it back. They told us to be quiet. So we spoke very loud but he's still haunted by the crimes of the British and the torture he endured in a British prison camp. If the term Mau Mau sounds familiar, it might be because earlier this year, deceptively nice-seeming conservative whack job and potential presidential candidate Mike Huckabee claimed that Barack Obama had been raised in Kenya, his grandfather had been involved in the Mau Mau uprising, and that because of this, Obama holds an anti-American dislike of the British. Naturally, all three of these claims were lies, since Obama never lived in Kenya, his grandfather wasn't Mau Mau and lived in a part of Kenya far from the rebellion, and, of course, there's no evidence that Obama has an anti-British bias. But it is true that Obama's grandfather held a grudge against the British, maybe because he had worked for the British Army during World War II, but was later imprisoned and tortured by the British for two years without a conviction. The first grader is only playing in limited release, and the chances of the Academy recognizing, remembering, or even seeing Latondo's stellar performance are slim. But the first grader is a beautiful, amazing film that doesn't just move, inspire, and make you laugh, but puts a human face on the lingering effects of colonialism. And at a time when Republicans are doing everything they can to punish teachers and cut education funding, the first grader is an important testament to the power of education to transform lives and even nations, which is why I'm giving the first grader my first 10 of the year. Seriously, do yourself a favor and find this movie. I'm Jonathan Kim for What the Flick.